of last night's game between the Seattle Seahawks and the Indianapolis Colts. Seattle throttled Indianapolis 46-18. to I'm doing the recap today because I wasn't going to stay up and watch that blowout. Uh, for the Indianapolis Colts, Jacoby Brissett, 16-29, 157 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Indianapolis drops to 1-3. and three. Seattle gets up to 2-2. Two and two. Frank Gore, 12 carries, 46 yards, 3.8. Jacoby Brissett, 3 of 33, 11 yards per carry. Altogether, the team, 25 of 98, 3.9 yards per rush. Uh, Robert Turbin had a touchdown on six carries for eight yards. So you take off those three for 33, though the running number is very pedestrian. Frank Gore, top receiver, three for 34. Brandon Williams, one of 32. Dante Moncrief, three of 30. He had the touchdown. Jacoby Brissett fumbled twice, lost one of them. The team had three sacks. Jonathan Hankins, Nate Hairston, and Jabal Sheard. Malik Hooker, the rookie, and Matthias Farley both had interceptions. Quan Bray, five kick returns, 83 yards, 16.6 average. Adam Vinatieri, one for one in his field goals. For the Seahawks, Russell Wilson, 21-26, 295 yards, two touchdowns. Did have two interceptions, though. You don't want to nitpick in a 46-18 game, but... You know, when you have five incompletions and two of those are interceptions, uh, you're just looking for some of the littlest flaws. Eddie Lacy sighting, 11 carries, 52 yards, 4.7 yards per rush. Chris Carson, 12 for 42, 3.5. Russell Wilson, 4 for 38, 9.5. He had a rushing touchdown. J.D. McKissick, 4 for 38, that's 9.5. He also had a rushing touchdown, exact same numbers. Todd Lacka, 2 for 24. So they found their running game with a balanced attack all the way around, 33 of 194. Tyler Lockett receiving 4 of 67, Paul Richardson 3 of 65, Jimmy Graham 4 of 61, J.D. McKissick had a 27-yard touchdown, Bobby Wagner recovered a fumble, the team had three sacks, two of them were split, or all of them were split in some way, uh, Bobby Wagner had half, Nazir Jones had half, Michael Bennett had half, Marcus Smith the second had one and a half. And it looks like he had three half sacks to get the one and a half. Justin Coleman intercepted one, took a 28 yards for a touchdown. Tyler Lockett had a 16-yard kick return. Blair Walsh won for two in his field goal. So Indianapolis, look, we know they're not a very good team. Their offense is clearly struggling. Again, this is a situation you could have looked at Colin Kaepernick. We're not going to get into that. Clearly, they have their issues with the quarterback situation. Jacoby Brissett is the best option they have right now, so that's why he's starting. But they're really going to struggle, and their defense, just frankly, is not that good. And it shows because Seattle's offense has really been struggling. Now, did they unleash you know, national uh, televised game? Sunday night, 1-2 and two at home. Yeah, I'm sure that's part of it, but the fact is that um, Indianapolis is really struggling with their offense and defense, and it could really be a bad year until Andrew Luck comes back, and he might not be even back at all at this time. And if they're not even close, they might just sit him down for the season. As for the Seattle Seahawks, they found the running game with a balanced attack. Again, Russell Wilson did have two interceptions. I don't know because I didn't watch the game. I don't know if they had the big lead, and he just decided he was going to you know, try to showboat, go downfield. And that's how it happened. We'll have to see. Again, you don't want to nitpick in a big victory but that's just something to keep an eye on but certainly the running game coming along give Eddie Lacy some credit all right so tomorrow we'll give you the injury report be sure to stay tuned for that remember we appreciate all subscriptions as well thank you all and we will see you next time